We were here, we ate lunch. I think we took a swing at one of the cops. They got a little upset with us. That sounds about right. Fish oh, we fished. We absolutely did fish. We didn't shower. We changed suits because we earned a new suit. That's the new rule. You only get to change clothes when you get new clothes. I call it the Kardashian rule. Okay. That's punching down. Forget uh, what we were up to. Or what we can do. I mean, I'm assuming big silhouette equals potential side quest. That's punching into the sky. <laughs> Not if I consider myself uh, above them. Map. Oh, they're right, right in this house on the corner. House on the corner, corner of the street. You guys remember that? That's a classic little ditty. Hey, he's, oh, that's the freaking diner, dude. Oh no. Excuse me, sir, I'd like to talk. I didn't expect to see a car like this in town. How fun would it be to go to the office with that? It's a handicap accessible Cadillac Escalade. Yes. Oh, I have somewhere I need to be. All right, thanks for the cash, dumbass. Um, I don't know, man. If we need some momentum, we could always just uh, we could always just smoke for a little bit. You could also see Quince. He's just at the end of this. Go back to Corpse Tunnel. I will not go back to Corpse Tunnel. Oh, he's probably driving, right? We're never gonna catch him. Well, unless he drives like this. In which case... <laughs> what are you doing, dude? He's drunk, brother. Uh, he's also outside of the car. Hello, Quince? Can we... My friend? Modern day teens would love this design. Must be Quince Ride. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Quint, we gotta talk, brother. You got. <laughs> oh, I've heard of ghost riding the whip, but this is ridiculous. Dude, you're drunk. You're absolutely hammered. Right, I'll see you at the diner later tonight, dude. Fenton! Fenton! Oh, Jesus Christ! <clears throat> Alright, I guess we'll just... We'll just go smoke over at the diner. <laughs> Blood? Dude, so many great, uh... So many great viral videos. Bar Bar, same old. This is actually how... Japanese bars are named. Not how I would expect bars to be named in the Pacific Northwest. Mia Downrock, the XJ store now open. Don't even get me started on them. Mash Bros Market. Okay, I get it. The General Mart, which is definitely not a movie theater. This is the second Studio GV here. Okay. York for mash. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, so step one. I'm just just peering briefly. What are, what's our... Uh, we're, we're good on health. We're good on Z's. We'll smoke some heavy cigarettes. And I think we gotta we gotta go till like eight or nine p.m. Whoa! I didn't never notice the deer moving before. He is jaundiced. 
Well, he's been drinking uh, a beer with dinner for two nights in a row, so it's not a surprise, honestly. <laughs> Bet Stinky agent. I should go to bed soon. I better get something to eat soon. Okay, hold on. Something to eat? That's easy, dude. A smallmouth bass. A popular fish in Greenvale. It's just that easy. And then, uh... Coffee. Restores a moderate amount of restlessness. It's 10 p.m. now! No. No. Don't make me do it. Is this not the diner? It's 8. You're right, it's 8 p.m. Sorry, I always got it. I always get it wrong. I mean, this is the diner. This is where we're supposed to be, right? You have to be at the bar? I thought we were supposed to come around the back of this place. No, we already talked to this lady. I remember that. Alright, we. There's no time for this madness. Talk to Nick, he comes out of the bar. Where the heck is the bar, brother? Because this is Corpse Tunnel. <laughs> Why is there just a bone? You don't, uh, don't ask questions. You don't want the answer. I'm a cop, you idiot. So I think it's Gray Arrow. Bones are their money? Well, okay. Nobody ever talks about the worms, though. There's a disproportionate amount of currency representation. Everybody talks about the bones being their money. So many Zach, people forget the worms. Picking up from where we left off, let's focus on the case at hand. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. Skrrr! I have oh. Zach, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. I'm ready. Zach, looks like we still have some time to kill. What the? Let's pass the time elsewhere. What do you mean you still have some time to kill? Wasn't I supposed to be here at 8? No, I gotta be here at 10. <sighs> Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. Can't we just show up early? There's nothing else to do in this town right now anyway. I'm just hoping, please, no hell dogs. Let's stop it right here. Just give ourselves a small buffer. I'm such an early person, I even want to be early in video games. That's the guy we're supposed to catch. Zach, looks like we still have some time to kill. What are you talking about? Let's pass the it's time like, elsewhere. It's like two minutes before. <laughs> you know, men see seek ways to kill time, while time seeks ways to kill men. You ever consider that? Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's Bar. Dong, at by the way. We're free until then. Te 
textbook. <laughs> I came as quick as I could. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. Oh. That thing's got a hemi. It's got hydraulics in it. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. But what's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. Check for Copy that. Does he shave that line into his temple? Or is that like, is it from a scar? Agent York, it's Nick. He's hammered, dude. He's got that H&M drip, though. Oh, hands in the back pocket. Very uncommon body language. Unless you're playing the role of Daisy Duke in the 2006 Dukes of Hazard remake. Here we go. I, I'm not using the siren again. Isn't he the white supremacist? That's a different D Duke. I understand the reference. Two different movies. Let me just put it this way. One of them stars Johnny Knoxville. I'm not using the siren. No idea what you're talking about. It's very simple. Remember that movie, Zach? There was a period in the mid-2000s where every 1970s television show was made into a feature-length film. Starsky and Hutch, Dukes of Hazard. There's other ones. Didn't they make a, a Chips movie with Dax Shepard and somebody else? Get Smart, that's right. The A Team. <laughs> My favorite of those. Probably 2004 Starsky and Hutch. Do you remember Ben Stiller in his get up saying, Do it. Do it. A classic movie moment. Don't forget the director of that film, Todd Phillips, went on to direct Joker. That's right. And who starred in that? Joaquin Phoenix. He won the Oscar for that movie. Remember, Zach? That's true. Charlie's Angels is being remade into a movie again. Let me... Uh, I'm going to hit you with something, though. Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Pretty bad uh, movies. Oh, thank you, Red Jester. The new Charlie's Angels looks fine. Perhaps even slightly better than fine. That's my two cents so far. <laughs> Charlie's brain cells. I mean, it's not even really like a, it's not like a Ghostbusters style remake. You know, it's already a movie about three ladies kicking butt, taking names. There's now there's like, like Bosley is a lady as well. And find other things to be mad about. Hey. Oh. 
VIP movie win. And it's crazy to me. I had nothing against Pamela Anderson, but it is crazy to me that she actually got like a decade of work out of VIP. Pamela, yes, exactly. Borat was her finest work. There is no doubt by Tomato Meter, Borat is her highest work. In fact, I can only name one other movie that Pamela Anderson was actually in, and it's Barbed Wire. But I'm, she, it seems like the kind of thing where when they made that Baywatch movie, she probably had like a, a cameo or something. And then the whole audience of, of enormous Baywatch fans would be like, that's Pamela! That's Casey! Yeah, that. Here, so here's the thing. Not only did they make a Baywatch movie, and almost everybody forgot about it, but that movie was, uh, I think it came out last year. It might have been two years ago, but that's how quickly it's been forgotten. That's true, she was in Scary Movie 3. I also forgot, dude, how many movies was, uh, Carmen Electra? She was in, like, 11 movies in three years or something. I was watching Starsky and Hutch. She's in Starsky and Hutch. And then she was in, like, all the scary movies. She was in, uh, she was in Meet the Spartans. She, there's no way she was in one of the Bond movies. I could see her being in Daredevil. I haven't seen it, but I believe that. She was in Good Burger. She seduced uh, Kel Mitchell to get the the recipe for Good Good Burger sauce. Isn't that right, Zach? <laughs> Hey man, there's no shame in getting work. I, that's the thing, is I need to fill up the uh, the dialogue here because you can't talk in the car because you're so fixated on the driving right now. Please, the acceleration, thank you. I will not honk. But that's, I watched the other guys on TV last night. That's as long as we're talking about above average action comedies, that's that's up there. Still a, yeah, I agreed. Solid movie. Dude, I'm telling you, The Rock, he had like nine movies on TV last night. I also watched like half of Pain and Gain, which I was stunned to find out is an actual true story. More or less. Oh, it's so high octane. Oh my god! Oh, if they get us in an accident in a cutscene after my perfect driving. <laughs> It was actually like a 1440. I was driving. Um, I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. <laughs> Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't want the time to get serious. Hold on, you two. This might get bumpy. I, for real, thought he was gonna go in reverse the whole way. <laughs> All the forward gears on the transmission are broken. Skirt. Is Nick here? I like he was telling us where to park. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. What is that? Something sound? happened? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. 
I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was At only a little. Didn't shave his mustache. I'm still in control. <laughs> Those are just old tin cans. Those are not doorknobs. Zach, Nick, and Diane are probably both inside. George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. A house with two doors? Okay, well, city one. boy. Help me out if you can, would you? It's just such a luxurious note. It's closed, dude. You're telling me we were following that dude for two hours? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta eat something. What do we even have? Okay, we, that's alright. We got two chocolate chip cookies. We got eight pairs of chocolate chip cookies is what I meant to say. Just just chow down on those. That'll, that'll keep you from getting low blood sugar for about 15 seconds. Alright. Dude, I'm telling you that I would love to have a rain cloak like this. I think it would really fit my uh, my personal style. I mean, there's clearly something to pick up here. What the heck, dude? There's zombies here, too? Maybe there's not something to pick up here? Yes, bullseye. Bullseye, by the way. Great. Yo, Mal, does this remind you of anything? Does it remind you of our record-breaking victory in Apex Legends last night? Bullseye. Bullseye. You got a first aid kit. Small. Are you are you dead? Okay, you're dead. What was record-breaking about it? Um. Amazing. Malph and I won shot. without Austin's help in a battle royale. Austin or Banal for that matter. Good shooting. Oddly satisfying shot. pylon shot. split. Amazing. Amazing. Bullseye. Nice shot. Amazing. 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 Great. Yes. This is Dan's internal nice monologue in PUBG. Bullseye. Amazing. Amazing. Great shot. Yes. Amazing. Run! Hey! I shot. Yes. Oh, he's leaking. I'm starting to think we might actually wish to get the the better gun from Corpse Tunnel. I hate to say it, I talked a lot of smack. Yes. Great. Bullseye. That was before I knew the zombies had guns. Yes. Great. Great. Oh, Bullseye. Jesus. I also, they they usually Bullseye. didn't respawn to this degree. Great. Bullseye. Oh, I thought we were almost out of bullets. Okay, don't get don't get too Bullseye. greedy Great. here. Yes. Bullseye. Run, brother. Amazing. Great. Great. 
Please. Please. Run! Run! Keep running! There's too many zombies. I did I did it all for a freaking planeswalker. The the most normie planeswalker of all time. Such a such a bad planeswalker, it's at the uncommon level. Bullseye. Bullseye. I can't see! <clears throat> I think we got it sort of figured out, you know? Do you have a gun? You do have a gun. Yes. Bullseye. Enemies with a gun get blasted. Bullseye. Uncommon planeswalkers exist now, and they're actually decent cards. Yeah, but if, if they were better, they would be mythic rare, right? It's just science. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Nar said is pretty good. What? <laughs> Nar said. <laughs> What's it like to have one of those? <laughs> I've only got. I'm one away. Oh, how did you get here? Emily, I want you guys Kevin. to- Wait out here, I know. I'm not gonna fight you about this anymore. But, promise me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? You might not think so, but we're a team. A team? That's what I think, at least, and- I'm this is a fourth in liner on the Canucks talking to Elias Pettersson. I don't want to happen to you before I hear more about you two. Hey, we're in this together, right? It's a hearty, Zach, did deep you hear breath. That? She wants to know more about you. Oh, isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. <clears throat> a deadly premonition too. My man should definitely vape. I I shouldn't antagonize the vapors. I just uh, sometimes I I just shake my head. Like I saw, uh, when I was walking around yesterday, I saw a dude just standing, uh, like looking out over the horizon, just taking cloud after cloud. Like, li like chain vaping, but not just like a little puff, like literally every three seconds blowing like an enormous cloud and then like looking introspective into the, into the middle distance. And I was just like, man, That's just too much. You gotta, you gotta... Everything in moderation, dude. Including moderation. Do you hear that? It's so loud. Amazing. It was not just a... That shot. I've seen Justin. He's here right now, for one. But I've seen Justin vape on stream. He's not a. He's not a serial cloud blower. I get it. Like, you know, sometimes when you take a when you take a, a big hit on the inside, you want to see it on the outside and be like, check out how cool I am. But you got to fight that impulse like 90% of the time. Only blow 10% clouds. Yo, 
He's so speedy. Nice shot. Hey, Justin, you jealous? Nice shot. Look at this. I've been practicing. I got my mouse sensitivity hooked up right. Now I never miss. I got shroud settings. <laughs> this, is like, this is Tarkov, dude. This is, uh... This is the underside of factory right now. You gotta crack open the boxes. This is like looting a safe to see if there's any rubles in it. Hatchet runs. Oh, what have we got here? First aid kit small. I think we'll get misbehaving on today's uh, Righteous Gemstones episode. Dude, now I want a pitch shifted uh, misbehaving. Mama told me not to. I did it anyway. <laughs> then you can, when you make a movie about a, a possessed kid, they can use that song. Wait for it. 2024 Warner Brothers. A dark reboot of Misbehaving. Um. <laughs> Dude, it's the night the skeletons came to life. The prophecy is true. Oh! Got him. What? <laughs> you got a slippery one. Okay, get ready to evade. Nailed it! Even though I, it collided with me, we got it. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's done it. We need more space. Put me on the other side of the tunnel. The vapors are coming back for me. I'm sorry. I know I have problematic opinions about it. I, I never smoked myself as a result. I'm less sympathetic than I should be to the plight of the smoker. It's a bad habit. Use steel pipe or it'll take forever. Really? You really believe that? <laughs> Who's got good comedic timing now? I can't reload! That would that's the end of my clip. It finally happened. All right, found 30 bucks down here. We're probably close to the end anyway. I might take a quick snooze. Yo, sugar donut. Thomas was here. In the original release, that enemy takes around 2,000 SMG bullets to kill. <sighs> Just a light sleep, please, because I don't want to have to eat after this. Mm. I'll take it. You ever realize that the whole entirety of human existence is just uh, balancing those two meters, ZZZ and hunger? Really makes you think. Oh, can't get in. There's nothing I can do. 
It wasn't me. It was the stop or I'll shoot. Any last words? <laughs> Looks like today's not your lucky day. Dumbass. Duck a dunk, duck a dunk. <laughs> Steve Jobs foyer. Pen pineapple apple baby. Sure. Let's start profiling. Sounds like my door. <laughs> this doesn't sound like it's a, an old rickety wooden ship. It really cleared it up. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Probably three uh, to four vital pieces. <laughs> wow, amazing. Bulls out. <laughs> like, sometimes there's like environmental reasons you have to go a specific path. This one, they're like, ah, just shoulder high, blood vines. That's good enough. But we've been messing around too long with, you know, pushed over bookshelves and unbreakable armoires. Let me go ahead and suggest we don't have anything that works here. It's like being in line to get into packs. You walk a mile, you're in the same spot. Ah, there's three apples on the tree. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's done it. <laughs> Just what is that? Stop. I killed you. Stop it. Ripe apple. Do I still need the... Nah, nah, nah. I'm thinking I gotta solve the puzzle in time or something. So you get green apple. We got plenty of time. He's old, so he gets ripe apple. It's just science. Can you take a second to look at the picture of the baby? That baby's too young to be eating that apple. You need to mush that up or chop it up. This this is a red apple man right here, guaranteed. This looks like Malf's high school yearbook.
that incredible? Dang, 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 dang. This one's also pretty bad. Weep, 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 weep. I love the idea of a, a zombie with a golf cart. Like, it raises so many questions. Yes. Did she take the golf club from the world of the living? Or is it, uh... should clean up my inventory. Or is that something that's, uh... Is there also zombie golf? If so, is she a 1% yes. zombie? Yes, shot. Does she have a zombie, uh, country club membership? Somebody's making noise. Um. You're overthinking this one? Ah, oh, there you are. No, I can't use this gun. The shot. I gotta tell you. Oh, yes. If these zombies started wearing zombie helmets, that'd be the end of my existence here. Maybe we just open this and let the other people in? Hello? Nobody to greet us, of course. Oh, okay. Sorry. Still one more. She couldn't. Oh, she's got a gun. A shot. Amazing. Great. It's charging up, dude. She's done. She's done. No one here to greet us. Yo! Uh... Yes, I want. I've already fished up so many shotgun shells. Next time we get the chance. We're putting that in the... on our quick bar. You may find yourself... reeling up a shotgun shell. You may find yourself catching a garbage. No, that's we don't need this. That's my bad. Oh. Thanks, Zach. Bam, 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 bam. I like the velvet rope of blood vines. Uh-oh. Oh, first aid kit small. Don't kill me. Send them. Yes. Bullseye. Yes. Yes. It's the problem of just getting headshots all the time. Yes. Just to bullseye. get here. Yes. Bullseye. Crazy. Key to the special exhibition room. It looks like a very sophisticated key. Probably shouldn't try to get in here. Yeah, dumbass. Okay. Yo! SMG bullets? It is SMG bullets. Do you hear that? Amazing. 
Amazing. Great. Amazing. Yeah, go ahead. Nice shot. That is my internal Amazing. monologue during Tetris. Nice shot. Actually, that's not true. My internal monologue during Tetris is essentially just, you know, Dunk, dunk, a dunk, dunk, a dunk, dunk, a dunk, dunk, a dunk, 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 run your sets. Like, over and over and over. That and then send them! And then something, something, rare air, something, something, in the cream. Chunk the meta, run the meta. That's okay, they got ball players too. Building a summer home on the on the garbage hole. Yes, dunk a dunk, dunk a dunk. Bullseye. Nice shot. It's me and Mouth and Apex Legends, carrying randoms to victory nonstop. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, go through here. Just follow the velvet ropes. Nice shot. Bullseye. Great. Yes. If I saw you in public and I started saying bullseye, nice shot, etc., etc., over and over, would you jersey me and then punch me in the stomach? No, because I'm not out here trying to, like, get... An assault charge? Yes. For no reason. Um, but you could also just say, hey, are you Ryan? That shot. And yes. then you yes. could have like a normal human interaction. Yes. Would also be fine. That shot. You could say, are you Northern Lion? That's also fine. Please, I just want the loot. You're asking for it, dumbass. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, this is some steep stairs. these again. <clears throat> I did not see the footage from Microsoft's new flight simulator, but uh, I will... I will, like, 98% be playing that myself as well. No, oh, it's a big pog! Big pog in chat, please. Upside down piece mark has been drawn in blood on this circular painting. Not part of her collection, I figure. Ooh. What are you? What are you doing here? So it was you. It's the sarcastic SpongeBob font. Ooh. 
That'll smart. Ah! Blood! <laughs> so red. We're in a... Your, your murder outfit is a sleeveless leather vest? So the dishwasher's done. Oh, here we go. Somebody's smoke detector's going off. <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, so we still have many more items to look for. There's a whole other side, huh? No. First aid kit small. Toss that one in the old toolbox. Someone want to explain what these are? These are called drawers. You can find them in any home. Just punch in your passcode and go pick yourself up a little knife or fork. What is this thing, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. No, you don't get to take control of my camera like this. It wouldn't go in the toolbox. I, I pressed toolbox and it said you can't put any more of this in there. You better clean up your inventory next time. Please give me the opportunity to... Is that a... Oh, it's a phone. Okay. Please give me the opportunity to change guns. I would like to use my 12-gauge shotgun. I have too many shells in my inventory. Stealth operation, sweetheart. Yo, very valuable. We need that. Stay hidden, use cover. Yo, is that a oh, first aid kit small? <sighs> Riveting. Whoa. Oh, here we go again, dude. She's incorporeal, dude. <clears throat> what the heck is that? Attack, pivot, center. Bait the attack, pivot, sender. Oh, get ready. It's a vapor dodge.
man. Absolutely incredible. The critics put out a hit on Deadly Premonition. Yeah, she says kill, I think. She's a very nuanced villain. Most people wouldn't understand. She's saying king me. Read any good books lately? I have not. Um, I'm embarrassed to say it. The last book I read was... Uh, 531 Forever by Jim Wendler. It's basically just a spreadsheet of workout routines. Would not recommend as a, as something you would read for enjoyment. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a page turner, exactly. Don't do it. Oh my freaking god, dude. Okay, okay. What is this? She's not doing kill me. Oh, she's she's still doing kill you. That's my bad. Look, combat! Not exactly Deadly Premonition's strong suit. That's okay. You know we'll get through it. At which point we'll have some cutscenes. The Evade looks like a 14-year-old me parkouring. Yes. I understand. It looks like Bill Gates jumping over that chair in that old Microsoft interview. No, Tomo Quest does not have this level of combat. Tomo Quest is a non-violent game. All you do is dodge spikes. There's no acts of aggression. Except, I suppose, on an implied level by whatever entity placed the, uh, the spikes there in the first place. But we're targeting a Q3 2020 release. Don't do it. Use melee, please? Is it actually faster? Yeah, because this is what I was concerned would happen when I used melee. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to stick with the machine gun instead. Why not just hit her from afar? I mean, that's... That's what I'm doing. With my ranged weapon.
we at least get some dialogue during this? Like some some Zack and, and York style dialogue? Where does Deadly Premonition rank on the list of recent subscriber games? I mean, it's the game is very good. It's just like... Also... Terrible. During parts like this. Got it. Thank god we got the first aid kit. <laughs> Turn on the flashlight to do more damage. There we go. This is the Y button. It's a game you can't, uh... You can't criticize. Sorry, I was going the wrong way. It's immune to your criticism, if that makes sense. Is absolutely not, but it is, you know. Nice shot. I think nice it's shot. like Great. I've been making this analogy Great. to Kate a lot, you know. In the era of cancel culture, Amazing. the people most susceptible to being canceled, I mean, obviously, are people who have done some messed up stuff, but on top of that, people who actually believe, like in their heart of hearts, that they desire to be a good person. If you have someone who doesn't desire to be a, a good person, or perhaps even revels in being kind of a piece of shit, you can't cancel them. Because, uh, you know, that, that's not part of their prerogative to begin with. And that's sort of how I feel about Deadly Premonition. Which is like, you know, if the game was trying to be objectively good, when you criticized it, you know, the devs might take it personally. But I think what it's instead trying to do is be as close to the director's vision as possible. And as a result, your criticism about, oh, the combat kind of sucks, just doesn't actually matter. Yo, we can use our gun. We could also shave. Okay. All right. I would like to panda bear. We have a we have a katana. What have I done? That's the shop. <laughs> this is I didn't know you could I honestly this whole time thought you, this was not a shop. I thought this was just where we took our existing equipment and put it into our inventory. I did not realize that this is... It, it doesn't function like that. My mistake. Okay. Put the. I'm putting all the flares into our... Oh, we need to put a weapon into our inventory. Okay. Um, or, or do we? I don't know. Wait, put him at the can I can I take out my shotgun? Okay, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so instead we're gonna go put an item away, and we're gonna put away the, the steel pipe. I don't know. We could put away the SMG, I guess. Yo, Gul'dan Dragon. First off, thanks for the mega cheer. Secondly, thanks for the RPG emote. <laughs> I got RPG7. I see you have RPG mana in there. RPG empty. I don't know what it means. But I appreciate it. Check it out. I am now the Shadow Dragon. Monka S in chat for Gul'dan Dragon, please. 
Thank you. Thank you for the monk ass. I want cool emotes. Uh, can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. I do want to save. We're almost halfway through the stream already? That's insane. Oh, sorry, I gotta shoot the lock. Send them. Remember when Twitch chat was on a seven second delay? Man, those were the years. When you would uh, make a joke and then have to remember what joke you made 10 seconds later. When people started to laugh. <laughs> Wasn't it Josh that only recognized that low latency mode existed like three months ago? Nick. He's dead. Put his hood up. Preserve his dignity. George, you're drunk. <laughs> Diane? George, call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. Oh, here we go again. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. <laughs> oh, come on. George, it's no good. I mean, I guess you gotta do something, but... Oh. Let the monarch do something. George has been watching the strongest man in history. He's doing it. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. World's strongest man. <laughs> Dude, that's a an incredible leap. <laughs> Unbelievable performance, George. Great work. He's done it. That's team <laughs> unity. Oh, we saw George's haircut. He's got a legit mullet. Thomas, call an ambulance. What? Oh, what? <laughs> Agent York, George, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. Uh, <laughs> debatable. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. Mm. God, I hope so. But you... If she still you. has a tongue, Quite a perhaps. Catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? George? 
Uh, he's a green seer? Um, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. Don't talk with your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Nick is cancelled. <laughs> Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! Oh! Have you ever seen the... Well, let's see how this goes first. George, he was so strong. That's someone's gallbladder. They got cubed. Have you guys ever seen that German comedy sketch slash work safety video where, uh, you know, the forklift, the guy driving the forklift looks in the wrong direction for like half a second and it starts that chain reaction where like 20 things like ping off of each other and then he drives the forks through the dude's chest and they're like, ah! <laughs> that was how I felt in the middle of that scene right there. I don't like that. Can you hear that? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> what is it, boy? The real killer's still here? Hmm. I think he wants us to follow him. Shall we follow Zack? Uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. We had an hour of sustained seriousness. Now the game's like, we're getting goofy again. Hold on. Might want to talk to them first. They might have cutscene dialogue. York, I can still feel her hand. It's okay, just try to calm down. I'm going after Willie. You just take it easy here. It's smart dog. I called an ambulance, but I know. Keep an eye on George and Nick. We still might need it. Make sure no one touches Diane's body either. I don't what was that awful face? Willie is calling for us. Diane, we did what we could, but we still lost her. 
It wasn't all your- It wasn't all your fault, George! What do you mean? It wasn't all your fault. George put in, like, a Herculean effort. Especially considering he's, like, <laughs> three-quarters drunk. Yes. Okay, hello. Taking a long way, huh? The scenic route. Alright, Kate, I will turn off the air conditioning, but first, I gotta follow this dog. I'm starting to think this guy doesn't actually know what's up. He's walking into walls. Doing a 360 in a room. Doesn't see anything. Oh, we had an observation there. Yep. <laughs> She's just walking me to the treats. <laughs> yep. Uh, woof woof, by the way. You know what? Maybe this is a great time for me to turn off the air conditioning. I lost him. Alright. Where'd you go, buddy? <laughs> Zach, not not that way. Calling for us. Not that way. Oh! Oh, there he is! Done it. Mighty fine police work. Where to? I knew it. Not that way. Into the office room. Why couldn't I just follow this myself? Uh, with. My human sense of sight and smell? I don't think so. You need a bloodhound to follow the trail of this murder. Look at that. Even he's just getting a scent for it right now. Can't quite figure out where it's supposed to go. Oh, he's done it again. Where to, Willie? Trail goes cold, huh? Or does it? Two bottles of wine next to the bed. You're right, Willie, but she's dead now. What does it matter? Working mirrors? Oh! Hold on. Do 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 do. If only George were here. Yes, yes, good boy. Yes. Willie, are you out there? Jason, what are you doing in there? York, is that you? Thank God, I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? What are you doing in a Jason, crawl space? Stand away from the door. <laughs> in a hidden, in a hidden room in Diane's art gallery. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the depth on his squad, though? Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. 
What? <laughs> You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur-of-the-moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Hey man, there's no okay, law against okay. being horny. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took This it, man looks like a, a resident of Seattle. <laughs> Every time I, I have a wife, you know. But, think of but the typical Seattle resident. We're going through a divorce right now. And See I don't a large, middle-aged man in a plaid shirt and overalls. <laughs> anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? He has a good point. Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. As one does. <laughs> I've just been here, waiting for her to come back, of course, but, but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. <laughs> yeah, couldn't she have just closed well, it? Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Oh, that then was what I was concerned instead about. Instead of Diane. <laughs> I like the Zach, idea Diane has become the third that he put himself killer. down there and took his dog with him, but the plant was like and nada from questioning Nick. It's too precious. He's Nothing. like, I, I won't take risks Got with the no plant. No new leads from questioning Nick. He's <laughs> taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art, but he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. This is strictly non-murderous level of argument. Again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. <laughs> Painted his he face. He has no idea who it was either. Of course, Kaysen looks. Let like me know how that excuse there. works out for you in but the, that door in the court of the public outside. opinion. There was no other way in or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. Open and shut now case. that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. His eyes turned white. I guess this case is really good. He's feeling responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. You take his rules and confidence away from him, I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. <laughs> A strange way to put an end cap on that conversation. He was very strong. Fun's total amount. All right, now we're we're due for some levity. By the way, potatoes will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. On the other hand, a smallmouth bass will replenish a moderate amount of your hunger. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First, Anna. Then Becky. Now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Uh, it sounds hard. Agent Morgan, <laughs> life must be hard for Dork. you right now. Do you have a moment? <laughs> Dude, you gotta, you gotta air out those shoes. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? 
If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the we hotel. We gotta go drinking with George. I gotta, I gotta talk more with the monarch. I, I would love to spend some time with the. Oh, George, that scar on your cheek. With the hotelier, but she's probably asleep by now. This? It's like six thirty p.m. Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall. Uh, but enough about me. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud. She found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She whipped my back with these thin tree what? branches like a whip. Yo, is George profiling right now? Yeah, like I said, we're due for some levity. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. George, you're being too literal. <laughs> That's not what she meant. It's a metaphor, sweetheart. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. Is that Thomas over there? The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. It's not really what I meant, but, uh... York. Bam, I've been bam, an bam, bam, fool, bam. haven't I? Yo, and is that lady me. behind us okay? Both Becky and Diane would still be alive. Is she one of the zombies? I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. <laughs> I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems not following your orders York I'm sorry I'll follow They're your orders from now on you'll have my total cooperation yo thank you George. an anonymous cheerer you've been as cooperative as you can be my man's wearing you a hard invited an inside. FBI guy to a bar for drinks you've done a good job protecting this town <clears throat> and the folks here respect you for that nobody can blame you for anything Thanks. I do feel a little better. Well, wait till tomorrow morning. I'd better get something to eat soon, Zach. <laughs> the folks here sure drink a lot. She might be the main reason they come here, though. 
Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. <laughs> nice to see Diane you as well. Too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Yo, this is official police business. Nick didn't do it. You can't just be <laughs> divulging Carol, all this confidential information out there. You took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta turn the photo around, dude. I'm busy, gotta go. I love talking with Carol. We have so much in common. <laughs> is that Thomas? Also, why is everybody in this town now beset with dark circles under their eyes? Oh, she's good. Like a girl, <laughs> <is something> funny. <laughs> is she saying real words? <laughs> I dream I dream of feet Like glisteners Who are kosher Survive In a sense Everyone's just ridden Notre Dame. I feel out of dream. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful performance. We were all thinking it, but only she had the courage to say it. Oh my god, dude. Get some vitamins. That is not normal. Eat some leafy greens. I beg you. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, great performance, Carol. What, <laughs> what does this song mean? My brother is at the sheriff's department, isn't he? Poor guy having to watch over Nick who didn't even do anything. <laughs> Idiot. Carol! <laughs> Rock and roll, baby! Carol! <laughs> oh, she's so good. Ah, this door leads to a storage room. If we're gonna have a drink, I prefer the counter. Got him. Um. Okay, how about you guys? No? Okay. Madam? Sir? Well, I think we're done here. It's time to go, George. Oh. Or is it? Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. <laughs> oh, Lisa! Emily is already a goddess <laughs> of the forest. <laughs> Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? She's a little overdressed. York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. 
Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. <laughs> I think I'll just go in tonight. George. George is an insect. Here and you're walking out on me. I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I'm afraid I've already had enough, and I already had a good man-to-man -man with Yorick. Um, so he I'll doesn't mean it like that, Emily. <laughs> Thought I told you no chicks allowed, York. I think George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. It's called tree punishment. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. George? But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. Yeah, yeah, there's the age course, gap thing, too. I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. <laughs> Wasn't really my type, also. I was a high school junior. Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. Hey. He was hardly at home when I was I'm trading kid. here. Always working. Bye, bye, sell, Those sell. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. Rip, Dad. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too. Scolding me if I took a wrong step. Beating me with <laughs> we had our battles, dry reeds. Sure, but all in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just kind before Kind of a rough died. scholastic experience, I huh? take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. Five bucks on Etsy. I'm sure she's very proud of you. Five bucks on Wish, 30 bucks on Etsy. Absolutely correct. Galaxy of I had a Terror. Good, time today. good night. See you tomorrow. York. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Oh Don't worry. I won't. All right. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> we need to eat something, dude. Look at that. We're almost dead. Give me the sugar donut. <laughs> After a long night of drinking. One donut before bed. Keeps the hangover at bay. I'm gonna wake up feeling like a grain of salt. Now to Corpse Tunnel. No. Now to the hotel. I think Peggy, she's got some banter for us. I don't think you should be driving. Excuse me, if you watch the, uh... Polly, whatever. If you watch the, uh... Bar scene, we didn't have a drink. Zach, Everybody else was drinking. Picking up from where we left off, let's focus on the case at hand. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. 
Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases. And we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls. And they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However, we must not Please overlook finish your there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Yo, who needs a backup camera? Oh, the, the cats look so relaxed. If I had my phone, I would take a picture, but uh, yeah, we're doing, it's a trivia time. Get ready. Zach, let's go over <clears> our <throat> progress. You gotta the be on your A game. Told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house. Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. Yeah, yeah. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. The third victim, That's Diane. Diane. Yeah, got it. Was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Yeah, George was here. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Mark difference. Um, it was right after the crime. That's right. Diane was still alive. I mean, Becky was still this alive. Suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed, which means the criminal was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance, and one other. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? Uh, that was Kaysen, aka Gaben. That's right, Kaysen. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. <laughs> Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. He's just horny, dude. That was why he visited the gallery. Does he look like he's into the two art? The were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. <laughs> now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Um, footsteps of boots. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. The sound of boots. Nick was wearing boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, Good strategy. immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? I think... No. <laughs> There's three emojis. There's mouth smile, dang deb eight, thinking. Mouth smile, dang deb eight, thinking. Me too. Usher sent in a report, too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Is it possible that Kaysen ejaculates ketchup? 
There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Think about how many pieces that would put into place. Shoes on the bed. Zach, what did you think about George pouring Confirmed this hard alien. I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. Those are the sound of boots, dude. Oh, that's our shoes, which are still very wet, apparently. I knew it! Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? I'm... Um, I'm sorry. I... I couldn't sleep, so... I was drinking alone. She needs help. Oh. My mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. It took two the hours. We finally got it. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. Me when I eat. My father was always quiet. A tablespoon of peanut butter much. after I He was a federal it. agent, just like me. What is he doing? And Look at that body language. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. I found out later that my father was one of the first mm, to ever yes. use criminal profiling mm -hmm. to catch yep. bad guys. Mm, oh, really? And so now I'm uh -huh. doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Mm, can I ask you something? Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? We're in boys. Fire away. Who's Zach? Who are you? Zach is a friend of mine. Oh, so you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, never well, Chad, face, what kind of person are you? But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. When did you become friends? A long time ago. Back roughly, when I was a child. Roughly 2011. <laughs> Mama told me not to, I did it anyway. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes, so I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At yeah, times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. His dad was the Joker. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible... That's how I felt about of me, Chad. That voice halfway through bully. Calmer. He, he sits are. like a total nerd. Together, <laughs> getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zach will get angry. Well, Chad, rage face. <sighs> That's a rage sad face story, or mouth smile. But 
I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. Wrong, wrong thing to say, Emily. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out. Definitely the wrong did. thing to say. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank you. For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. Oh. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew I it! I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. <laughs> Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? Wow! Maybe <laughs> hopeless, but not useless. And now she's Zach, gone. Do you think Emily got home safely? Anyway, I think it's more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation You're with Emily. a little slow, aren't you? She's really interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. If it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Is Zack the final boss? Thomas! 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 Let me out of here! here. Come on, Thomas! please! please, please, please. <laughs> Just for a moment! <laughs> One second! <laughs> Here, Thomas. 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 Thomas.
don't you <laughs> want to enter? Yes, I'm I going do. alone. It's better than staying here. Very well, then. Off you go, Mr. All right, dude. Look, At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone you love. Kids pajamas or seven hundred dollar Balenciaga sweatshirt. <laughs> can I get some can I get some fish moles in chat, please? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, not Saba Ping. That's a fish mole situation. Yo, Polly. We having breakfast today? <laughs> Possibly Mr. Morgan, do you the want to worst refill? graphic design I've ever yes. seen. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Is the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Oh my lord. Was this a logic puzzle? Dude, that is the Ren and Stimpy font. It says to hurry. And the first letter of each line is H A R R Y. Hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy on his half of the town visit. My mistake. Don't Polly, they? Oh. I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. Uh, I think you'll really? have fun with him. If you say so, Polly. Then we probably will. He's so patronizing of when he course. speaks to Polly. Now, give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. Got her. He's just messing with her. And I'm here for it. I'll see you later, Polly. Thomas! Green tomato. <laughs> oh, we're full. Hello, sir. Hey, am I still a suspect? No. Okay, well, good. Officially, I can't tell you. My but... wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Yeah, yeah, everyone's sad. She's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? Of course. I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No. I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I, I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. Before or after I've been sleeping in. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? Casey was involved with another woman in town. <laughs> we can only hope.
hope it isn't Emily. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, hello, sir. All right, you know. You, you do what you gotta do, sir. There he goes. He just exudes raw power. Oh, hi. What do you got? Yo, new suit? You know why the Yankees always win? Yo, she's got new fishing lures. Legend worm. She also sells ammo, but... <laughs> Why does an old woman sell SMG ammo? Well, if she doesn't, Walmart's gonna eat into her business, dude. Oh, hungover. I've been there. She's got explosive power off the line, though. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> what about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. <laughs> he kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. I'd stop responding, George too! has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I Have you ever heard the expression? Hard to better to ask for forgiveness sure, than permission. Just resting at home, uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not. Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. It's the beard girl is really absolutely FBI horrible. Agents? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. But Emily, the serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. Yeah, dumbass. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. He walks like Walton uh, Goggins and Vice idiot Principals. Idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. Yeah, and your left eye. Limit. 8 to 2100. Fork knife. 9 to 1300. Yo, we're getting some dialogue guaranteed. We don't need to eat lunch. Thomas isn't here. Yeah, just get a liquid lunch at the Galaxy of Terror. Dan wants to know when the next murder is. Um, probably with, within 45 Zach, minutes. we've ended up with the third victim. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. Wasted. It's a real mess, Zach. <sighs> dive. When's the last time I made a dive Remember like the that? dive at the start of that movie, The Never Ending Story? Oh, I remember. Sebastian so afraid of the water. It was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk, like Crash and Sham 69. Crash? I like the more twisted ones, like The Damned, Buzzcocks, Iggy Pop, and Joy Division. We used to talk for hours about the bands we really liked, but for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I wonder why that was. 
Seems strange thinking about it now. Yeah, Joy Division is post-punk, idiot. Joy Division, so twisted. <laughs> Just <laughs> unconscionable stuff in those Joy Division songs, like Love Tearing Us Apart, Isolation. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, if the van is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Jesus Christ. This thing's got a hell of a counter steer. Maybe fill her up. We're at 75% gas. Can you turn the flashers on? I can... I can hit you with the. Uh, I can hit you with this. How do you like that? I say this every week, but of the playthroughs I've seen, you're by far the best driver. <laughs> Dude, honestly, driving in this game is really hard. Yeah, you gotta shoot the tires out first. You know what? Sorry, there my was mistake. one band that we both liked. We went all the way to New York. It's to the Ramones, play. right, Zach? It took us hours to get to New York by bus. Definitely the Ramones. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. It took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. It's the Ramones or and Blondie. Inside, we were shocked, right, Zach? I'll never forget that feeling. It's it was the like Ramones, a dude. Let's creak. Let's creak, Bob. The Ramones. Got him. That song still makes me feel good. And that's a sign of a classic. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. Couple of the Ramones are still alive, brother. Anyway, I had a great joke. I was gonna save it for January 1st. This is what reminded me of the Ramones. I swear, I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks. Uh, it's January 1st, 2020. You go, hey Ramones, what year is it? And then it's just the very start of I wanna be sedated. And he just goes, 2020! And then you cut it and just post it. I think it could be a pretty good micro joke that could go pseudo viral on Twitter. It's like the Billy Corgan on the roller coaster video. We <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. He didn't say, so says Mr. Stewart. You're absolutely right. Dude, you know you're rich when you've got a payphone in your house. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh, here we go. Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. <laughs> ah. You have to play a, a note on the piano to open the door? A little bit of a lag on that one. <laughs> That's an incredibly lazy Susan. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Um. Why? 
Why did you rotate the... Yes. Anyway. Of the multitude of musical scores, these three are the only ones left open. If Harry did this, it must have a meaning. He's right. It's the villain from Jumanji. It's another phone. Uh, well, that was unexpected. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. This is where you fight Capra Demon. All you gotta do is get up on this staircase. Well, it's never easy, is it? Apparently this is the meeting room. Zach, something is like I don't know. Is he in the wall? Need more clues. That's a good idea. And well, I think we need to observe the statues, but it's also. You know, also hoping there's some other, maybe some detritus. Yes, an umbrella we'll take. You got umbrella for guest room number six. This is a, a bust of Jebated. They use it for TwitchCon when they establish the Museum of Global Emotes. Another Jebated. Umbrella for guest room number five. Ha! The trumpet. Umbrella for guest room number four. <laughs> Little bit of Zach in my life. Little bit of. Emily, by my side. A little bit of the monarch. <laughs> what I need. <laughs> A little bit of Carl. <laughs> what I see. A little bit of <laughs> Carson. <laughs> In the sun. A little bit of Thomas. All night long. A little bit of FK in the cof coffee. Here I am. A little bit of you makes me your man. Ha! Okay, we have 15 umbrellas. Cavalry. It's meant to hold a Springfield rifle. Springfield rifle. Springfield rifle. Zach, something is still missing. Nope. We need more clues. <clears throat> Hold on. Number three, number five, number six. Okay, okay. Number three, number five, number six.
<laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Umbrella number one, I sleep. Umbrella number six, real shit. Yo, what is that Austin emote? Oh no. It's Bane, dude. He doesn't speak, though. Ah, yes, okay. How could I be so stupid? <laughs> this dumbass doesn't realize now I've got three extra umbrellas in my pocket. Mr. Francis York Moore, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Does this guy work Almost for Tazo? You knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best admired by your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. No, Papa. Drinking sugar. <laughs> do, 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 do. Harry. Where did you get these seeds? It's the Matrix soundtrack. Come with me now. Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see. You find that certain space. It's a very cheap rhyme. Come back to me and we shall talk. After you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Ran out of words that rhyme with place, huh? Harry, so you would like to play games. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says... It's a graveyard. That's the graveyard. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play it. It's an ice cream library. <laughs> Corpse tunnel, so you can get the infinite gun. Yeah, we only have half an hour though. I think I might uh, might save that for next week. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. I mean, corpse tunnel is a like a place, and yet it is very. It's quiet. a very condensed out, bit of gameplay that is the worst part of Deadly Premonition. It must be the graveyard. It's not like I'm saving you from, None of or I'm sparing you from seeing See? something entertaining. So let's get going to the graveyard. Send them. Oh, I guess I don't have access to that road despite paying my taxes. Please, yeah, more movie or music talk. Skirt! 
He came out of nowhere. So, Zach. About him. My first impression when we met her on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? And Zach, she seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? <laughs> no, don't answer. I'm just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. But I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. Me? I'm just interested in her, that's all. It isn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last like, relationship. Like, figuratively? I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. You're pretty friendly with the ladies, aren't you, Zach? Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. <laughs> yeah, Chad. Lend me your wisdom. Always signal. That's step one. When you're on the Sylph Road. Keep your secrets. And at what level are you in Pokemon Go? I'm level 35, I think. Like the first, like, 25 levels go by super fast. After that, it's like, you know, three weeks each level. Maybe more. <laughs> Kate's... In the next month, for sure, Kate will hit level 40. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. <laughs> The texture work. It's so beautiful. Um. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Uh, I forgot bad. about Brian. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, huh. Is that Why does he look fun? so much We've like Steve Buscemi? Started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. Oh, yeah, the red one. <laughs> and, that one. And, and that one, too. All red seeds. This is definitely a zombie rich situation. I can't go get them. Oh, dude, green tomato in the toolbox? What is wrong with that? Probably save it up here. Now you can have your phone and eat it too. He guides others to a treasure he cannot possess. By the way, glad to see this place is very handi handicapped accessible. Just as long as you can pump the brakes while you go down this like 70 degree slope here. Oh, I can see the sky. Um, Brian. Oh, sorry. I tried to take the back door. You see something pop out of the ground right in front of us? Yep. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, 
the gunplay. It's so good. Got two of them, huh? Oh! She's still alive. Oh! Oh! Oh no! The hedge. Get it off, please. Get the bullets, dude. We gotta get out of here. What? Don't blast me. Don't blast me. God! Amazing. This is so horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Whoops, whoops, that's my bad. Alright, here we go. Reach for the sky. Got him. <laughs> Yo, five bucks. Five bucks is five bucks, dude. Yeah, okay. Was it made of styrofoam? That's ice Let's cream, brother. Harry's. You just got a Every scoop of gelato. Better be good. You know, about these seeds. They were right here under my nose. This time he means literally. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. Pool's chlorinated. Am I free? May I leave? No? Um... Hello, sir. You don't mind, do you? Left foot bone. Uh, I'm no anatomist. A human bone? <laughs> this doesn't look related to the case. I don't know if that bone came from I the foot, though. Go? <laughs> oh, yes, the classic graveyard dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we found the killer. I gotta know. I'm sorry. I just, I have to know. Look, he loves it. He goes crazy for it. scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Just, 
on my door like open up and a little face appear. And just for like one one hundredth of a second, I was like, what is happening? Hello, Brian. Bad, bad seeds. I won't touch them. All right, well, you know. Cool, dude. Dude, where's my car? Alrighty then. <laughs> bit of a bit of a muted way to end the mission, but sure. Man, the acceleration on this bad boy. It's like when the focus gets stuck between first and second. Why did we have to come here again? Well, you see, it's very simple. It's like we were holding a bottle of water, but the whole time we were sitting in the pool. Anyway, Zach, there aren't many young women left in this town. <laughs> Even Emily could be targeted next. I can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the raincoat killer ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. Don't get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. I'm just saying she's interesting. You know, as an in interesting person. But by looking at her, she reminds me of something I used to feel. Get well soon, Kate. That's all. Like back when I first met you. You know, that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids. Feeling safe while also feeling a need to protect. That kind of feeling. But Zach, who made me feel that back then? Anyways, we're getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. Right. Yeah, he's like self-horny. This is a dead end. Self horny weaver? Roaming, roaming self horny? Getting a little bit light on the gas. No, I do not have $126,000. I have $12,600, okay? But. You know, that's not really that fat of a stack when you remember that a cup of coffee is 30 bucks. Skirt! There's nothing I could do, dude. <laughs> I have not used Legendary Worm yet. Yo, it's uh, Buddy Rich on the drums here. Live remix. Okay, that's enough. Chopped and screwed, exactly. Chopped and screwed, Zach. Oh, Zach, sorry. If you notice anything, just stop me. World's slowest train. No, it just ends. It just ends. I am going to run out of gas. I should have taken the other car. 
Should have done a lot of things. I can't go back for the metal. I did store all of my flair as well. They're not gonna let me run out. That's just bad game design. <laughs> Is that a gas station? Are you a gas station? That's the freaking sawmill, brother! Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. Dude, I think we can make it. What the hell's up with all these dead ends? There's gas. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Sir, please. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, if you're in the FBI, can't you just commandeer anybody else's car like Tommy Versetti? Like, if somebody... They always do that in, like, 80s movies. If somebody flashes a badge at you and goes, like, I'm NYPD, I need your car. Can't you just be like, no, I have to go to work? I mean, I, I'm a tax-paying citizen. Oh, here we go. Uh -huh. Fill her up. Let me know if you want me to pump it. Definitely get it washed as well. Dan, you still here? Little brother spam in chat, please. Uh, also, I will take some gasoline, please. Thank you. Really appreciate it. It's not that bad. 50 bucks to fill up the, the cruiser. Keep in mind, we're like redlining this thing the whole time. Could be worse. Yeah, plus a coffee is six hundred dollars. Exactly. That's true. That was a full service gas station. We must be in Oregon. I ever tell you about the time we were we were coming back from Portland, and uh, we had to get gas? Ah, well, it'll have to wait, Zach. told you it's me. All right. Um, coming back from Portland and uh, had to get gas. We pull up to the gas station and then this like 50 year old dude in a sleeveless like muscle shirt just comes out and stands in front of our driver's side window. And I just like looked at him and he just looked at me. And then he was like, he made the motion like roll down your window. And I was like, yeah, what's up? And he was like, well, do you want gas or not? And I, it, it dawned on me. It took a while, though. But I was like, I'm about to get absolutely killed. He did not find it as funny as I thought it was, either. Yeah, I don't isn't New Jersey like it's a full service state as well? I don't even want to know what's going on with the lighting over here. I don't get it. Like I don't like it what's the point? 
It, it surely cannot be that filling up gas is too dangerous. But then, like, what's what's the other one? Is it, it keeps, uh, like, the, the labor market? Every gas station now has one extra job? Yep. That's weird. I mean, it, it's... The principle makes sense, but on the other hand, it's like... I know I can talk, just give me one second. The principle makes sense, but simultaneously, I'm like, why just that industry? <laughs> why only the gas pumpers? Because the gas pumpers vote? <laughs> I don't know about that. How many people have a job pumping gas in Oregon? It's got to be like under 500 people. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. If you don't like that, you what about valet parking? Just park your own car? I'm exactly the same boat. I would rather just park my own car. I would much rather do that than have to... I mean, I, I get no value out of the valet parking. Yes, hello again. Do we have to do this every time? Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. You don't sound as confident. Oh, no. Got him. Is this the... It's like the things have rotated as a result of the... Okay, yeah, I get it. Let me guess. Is it going to be one, two, one, two, four? Ah, uh, 14, 23, 26. Hold on, are we can at least... Can we put on the new suit? No, we don't have suit mechanics in here. We do have a can of pineapples. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What that was on the can, but it doesn't look like any pineapple I've ever seen. It's dinner for Sean. Doesn't, doesn't open. thing is it uh these are locked yeah canned pineapple is at least better than canned pickles i'll give you that what on earth is this nightmare Okay. <laughs> Fourteen, twenty three, twenty six. <laughs> Sorry, boys, two more to go here. It's a great puzzle. Every time you go to Harry's house, make sure you chalk up your hands. Real shit. 
You're gonna be moving some heavy weights. 23. My lord. My God, he's done it. Twenty six. Oh, this is the longest one of all. Halfway there, boys. Go ahead, just about enough of this guy's games. Always oh, talking in riddles. Anytime I want to talk to him, I got a complete, completely arbitrary series of environmental puzzles involving these cast iron statues. Yeah, this is Jigsaw. Real shit. Show some respect for the statue. I'm in, boys. I'm out, boys? Yo, this is what you get, Harry. This is what you get. Nice puzzle, dumbass. When you fight a stranger in the Alps? Yeah, exactly. This is what you get when you feed a stranger scrambled eggs. I mean, it's his fault for building his mansion like a freaking idiot, dude. Oh! Aren't you worried about your tires getting wet? <laughs> Go get him! Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town. <laughs> That's right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. 
Is that a Motorola Razor? Yeah, what you need to do is cut your hair and disinfect your stinky chair, so says Mr. Morgan. A huge clock tower. The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky. And now, Diane. As I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. Not folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. But under a strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me. Think would be able to do something like that. An eraser? The military. Very good. A model student. Oh, it's a Super but Nintendo boss fight music. Without it, then how do you know it really happened? Good Donkey Kong question, Country level York. two. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new raincoat Sure, whatever floats your boat. The new raincoat <laughs> You're okay, it's... I don't want to get caught up in semantics here. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more Sir, about is the I beg you. Between 10 and 20 years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special. That's a number pad. Someone else did too. The human imagination. The human imagination. This is Dan. Someone he talks in riddles. To the he dodges our questions. If you eat the red seeds and then kill someone, you will become immortal. This new fabricated legend was passed on from one to the next. Evolving, changing every time. Yeah, he's just lonely. You know, I said that the he just wants someone to talk to. Ago was totally erased. Well, not quite. <laughs> Records still exist in the sheriff's office. The old sheriff back then hated the military and did his own investigation. <laughs> I need you to bring those documents here to me. It's so good. Once you've done that. I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> I'm 
remember that thing I told you? It was a lie. Okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. We've done it. Red Seed. Yeah, I, I don't respect him because he, <laughs> he's committed to rhyming when it's easy, but when he actually has to put some work into it, he just talks like a normal human being. Sorry, a normal human being. A normal human being. Documents from a case that happened 50 dun, dun, years ago. Dun, 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 dun. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zach, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. Alright, as usual, we'll go to the sheriff's department, we'll eat lunch. Then we'll end the stream today. What if Thomas still isn't there? Well, I guess we're, we're going hungry then. No, Austin would not be pissed if he were here because I saw him shoot out the tires in PUBG. So he can't play that card anymore. You shot a dog. Wrong, I shot at a dog. Two different things, semantically speaking. I'm telling you, the car is very hard to steer. Any slight perturbation of the left analog stick results in like a four radian turn. It's like trying to play Mario Kart Tour. Thanks, he got out of the way. He knows what's up. Well-known fact, Siren fixes the frame rate. Hey, watch where you're going, dumbass. He's drunk. Out of my way. I'm a cop, you idiot. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, oh, it's the gas station. Almost there. Just 17 football fields away. Oh. I hate that this thing maxes out at 45 kilometers, sorry, 45 miles an hour. That's downhill too. Like Tony Hawk's favorite kind of jam. Upgrade your car? You can upgrade your car in this game? This has not been illuminated to me up to this point. How does one upgrade their vehicle? Military guy. Oh! Excuse me, sir. It's official police business. All the cheap cars play the whistle song while you drive? Oh, hell yeah. Does your license plate say video games? No, it says vid games. I tried to get video games, but... The angry video game nerd already has that license plate trademarked. They won't let me have it. It's all a goddamn conspiracy. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me.
Just wanna play vid games. Just wanna play vid games every day. All the time and every day. Can there really be documents here that the FBI doesn't even have? What do you think, Zach? The sourest of pleases. Yo, I didn't know he was Yo, a hockey fan. I told you. It's nothing more than that might be a football, football player now that I think about it. Harry said that he was there. The raincoat killer is a phantom made up to scare children long ago. I can't believe you fell for that from Harry, of all people. I agree with George. Harry likes Nobody to asked you, people. Emily. Play with their minds, too. George. Emily. A little slow, aren't you? Of course I don't believe him word for word. But you won't mind if I at least try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? <laughs> well then, can you look for the files by yourself? I'm still looking for Thomas. Very no well. lunch, dude. Emily, open the filing room for him. No! They're here too, Zach. Let this me might save mean we're getting please. warmer to what we need. Let me save. God damn it. I'm only playing until I get to a phone. When I see a phone, I'm out of here, dude. I'm so hungry. missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Yeah, we're missing a payphone so I can get some some simple sugars inside of my body. I can't leave my Nintendo on, dude, because I need to play uh, Tetris. Oh, let's go! We're saved! Oh, smart choice. Smart choice. Yo, he, amazing. Looks absolutely <laughs> like he's the general manager of a circus in the 1910s. He looks like a Garth Brooks album cover. Absolutely. He does look like the Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. I don't know what it means. I just see people saying it all the time. Anyway, this is the part that gets me. It's the it's the pauldrons on the back. <laughs> 